Enterprise resource planning is a platform that companies use in order to manage essential parts of their businesses. It is critical to businesses as it helps with resource planning by integrating all the processes needed to run their companies within a single system. Some of the processes that ERP can combine are the planning, purchasing inventory, sales, marketing, finance, human resources, and even more. ERP is essentially the glue that holds the company together. Each department of a business has its own system, but ERP combines them all so that they may be accessed in one location and on one interface. By increasing the communication between departments, it is able to increase efficiency by eliminating possible duplicates and also eliminates incompatible technologies. Another benefit is that it improves reporting ability. Accurate and complete reporting in real time can help companies adequately plan, budget, forecast, and communicate the state of the operations to its organization and interested parties, such as shareholders. Generally, there are three deployment options for ERP systems, cloud-based, on-premise, and a hybrid of the two. Within these options, a business can choose from hundreds of types of finance, <clears throat> such as finance, supply chain management, and human resource management. The components of an ERP system depend on the organization's needs. However, there are key features that each ERP should include. Generally, packages include finance, human resource, logistics and manufacturing, supply chain management, and customer relationship management. I personally found that the fact that it increases communication among all departments to be the most interesting thing about ERP. I feel that because it has the ability to increase efficiency and communication, it could be used in almost every company in some way, big or small. I personally remember when I had an accounting internship over the summer at a medium-sized firm. While they specialized in accounting, they did have a couple of other departments like payroll and the legal team. When the accountants had to communicate with one of the other departments for any reason, and often these were repetitive uh, communications, they would have to make an email and include all attachments related to the issue. I believe that if they were to implement some type of ERP, it could have helped them to communicate more effortlessly and more quickly with each other and help not waste as much time. I believe that the most important thing someone should know about ERP is that an ERP system doesn't always eliminate the inefficiencies within a business or improve everything. The company may need to rethink how it's organized or risk end up ending up with incompatible technology. It is also important to know that the installation process of an ERP can be timely and it may require some departments to have to change the type of applications it uses in order to make sure that they are compatible with the ERP software. I think that knowing about ERPs can help me, especially if I ever obtain a leadership role of any kind. Knowing them can help me in order to problem solve if I see issues of non-communication between departments. I could also promote it to my boss, potentially, if I see issues arising in the company that I'm working for currently. Thank you.